delicious fish. I love eating. Oh, that is a pile of seafood. Oh, look at that. Another fish. There you go. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna. Oh. All right, Luke here at the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, and today we're going on a fishing, crabbing date night. And my brother and his wife are coming along. It's a double date. And uh, we're going to go catch king salmon and tanner crabs and cook them up and eat them. We're going to drive about four hours south to Homer and uh, get a little room for the night. And, uh, my oldest sister is watching our children, so hopefully she'll be alive and healthy. Well, Thank you, Michelle and Andrew. So brave, so brave. Oh, welcome to Homer. We're on the end of the Homer Spit at the Lands End Hotel. We're gonna check in for the night, so we'll be nice and ready for an early charter in the morning. And we'll see you guys in the morning because we've got a fishing charter. See you then. Ooh. Well, good morning. You guys sleep well? Yeah. I'll tell you my favorite thing in the world about winter fishing charters is they don't leave the dock until like nine o'clock so we can actually have breakfast and sit down and eat breakfast. Right now the weather is really iffy. Uh, Noah says there's seven to eight foot waves out in the ocean right now, which is, it's aggressive. How you doing? I'm Josh. Hi, I'm Becca. Good to meet you. <laughs> Alright guys, we're here with Josh with Big Butt Charters and uh, we're going for Winter Kings. And yes, the name of the charter is Big Butt. There, I mean, gross. Oh now, unfortunately the, the weather's a little, a little bit nasty. I heard seven to eight foot waves out in the <laughs> open. But the, but the weather's kind of limiting our fishing spot. So we're going to try to make the best lemonade we can out of these lemons. But, uh, Nothing else, we're gonna go fish in the middle of the winter, right? Yeah, we'll give it a shot. If you guys wanna try this, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link down in the video description below, so check that out. As some of you guys may or may not know, salmon are a strange fish. They're born in fresh water, and when they're just about like an inch long, they do this migration all the way out to the salt water, and they spend most of their lives out in the ocean, getting nice and fat, and then when it comes time for them to spawn, they head back to the rivers where they were born, they go up there, they spawn, they lay their eggs, and they drop dead. So if you want to catch salmon in the freshwater, you have to do it during the run when they're spawning and you only have a couple week window to catch the salmon. However, out in the ocean, you can catch them as long as you can find them. And here in the winter time, there are some kings that stay relatively close to shore that you can target in the dead of winter. And so it's one of the few fishing opportunities here in Alaska in the middle of winter time, other than ice fishing. Welcome to Kachemak Bay. Oh look, there's someone surf fishing. That dude's my hero right there. into Kachemak Bay to find some calmer water and it looks like uh, it looks like we might just find that. Well this is pretty nice. I don't feel like I'm in an episode of Deadliest Catch here. Oh, but how deep do you uh, troll for the kinks? Typically it's like 45 millimeters. Oh that's deep. Got some trolling herring pre-rigged up. Yeah. You got a big flasher right there, it kind of tracks the fish. You hook your rig up to this cannonball, and that takes it down to the depth you want. When you hit a fish, 
it frees itself from this thing and then you don't have to pull this big lead up when you're fighting the fish. You can see the rod's bent way over because it's attached to that cannonball. When a fish hits, it's gonna pop up and then start doing this number. This is the sheltered part of the bay. <laughs> Well, this is a lot nicer in this cove. I feel like we're fishing rather than trying to survive. You know? <laughs> Several song-filled hours later. With the weather being so nasty, we just couldn't go to the fishing spots we wanted to. So we had to kind of try some long shots and it just didn't pan out. But uh, we're going to pull it up and head back to head back to the harbor. But uh, apparently in the mouth of the bay, they had eight and a half foot waves according to the buoy. So. I think it's really good we stayed back here in the back part. <laughs> well, we survived it. We made it back to the harbor, huh? It is icy. It's supposed to get cooler You know it's cold when the salt water's freezing. Well, I gotta say, Josh was a good sport. He called and warned us that the weather was pretty awful and we wanted to come. We had our babysitters lined up anyways. He was not wrong about the weather. <laughs> We've got to come back and give this another go. I want to get some crabs and a winter king. All right, guys, it's another day. We're back in the car and we're headed to Homer to go try winter kings again. You guys ready? Yeah! Hopefully we'll catch some crabs too. Who's gonna catch the biggest crab? I am. I am. I am. Well, we made it to Homer, Alaska, but we're here a little early because we wanted to visit some friends. We're gonna be visiting the Kilchers and uh, we're gonna do a little play date with the kids. All right, we're here at the Kilcher Homestead with at Ivan's house, and uh, it is an ice rink here. <laughs> you watch it. Let's get you to safety first, and then we'll worry about it. Yeah, it's wood still with ash. Yeah, that actually works really good. It works really good. That's what my grandpa used to do. I can hear the all right, guys, we're here with Ivan and Eve Kilcher. And if you guys watch the Discovery Channel show, Alaska, The Last Frontier, you might recognize them. But uh, they also have a pretty strong uh, social media game on uh, Instagram and yep. Facebook, I think. You know, yep. So we'll put links in the video description below to that. We would just kind of hang out and let the, the kids have a little play date here. And for all you people at home who whose kids wish they were in our family, <laughs> all of my kids wish they were in their family. So. The grass is always greener. It's always greener. Yeah, you guys know. That is a hardcore treehouse right there. I saw the There's a way from Dale. Hey there, buddy. Not bad. No, it ain't not too bad at all. Got down and you guys <laughs> you you got three kids and a cat on your roof. So oh, this is this is your crossroad. This, this is, is the crossroad. I, I hold the crossroad. Oh my god! That thing has recoil. Yeah. I'm just hoping I can drive one. Of them. <laughs> <laughs> Jump off into the snow. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, you want. Ah! Woo! Oh, It's a nice hill. It's this one. Daddy, this 
We had a great time hanging out with the Kilters. That was a lot of fun. But we're here at the Land's End Hotel and it's kind of late, so we're gonna get these kids to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh, good morning. Oh. Good morning, everybody. Oh. Everyone who's excited to go fishing, raise your hand. Hey, two out of three ain't bad. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna see if we can't catch some crab and king salmon, and the weather looks a lot better than last time we were here. Who thinks they're gonna catch the biggest king salmon? How big is the crab you're gonna catch? That big. You think like that big? You can Got a crab pot that's been soaking for a little while. We're gonna pull it up and check it. <laughs> Put it through the pulley, and they wrap it around there. And that Let's pulls it up. Boil it on up. Watch out, you're in the bite. Yeah. How far down is it? Uh, it is about 390 here. 390 feet deep. Yeah, so if you're wondering why you don't pull these by hand, here's your answer. There we go. Oh yeah. my goodness. Look at them all. Look at that. Oh. Holy mackerel. Holy mackerel. Look at that. There are so many in here. This one's a female, so that one's going back. That one's a female, yeah, because it's got the round yeah, bottom on yeah. the... You can tell the males here got the little V on them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Got a bunch of sea legs. Oh, look at that. Wow, these might be too small, that one. Look at all the lice, ah. sea lice on them. Yeah, a bunch of them. Oh, okay. Ooh, man, even some good dummies. Yeah, I know. I what do you guys think of that? Wow. Yeah, they picked those salmon carcasses clean. Oh, nice God. one. Yeah. Look at that. Is that crazy? Oh, oh he's trying to pinch me. <laughs> when you find a female, you can thrill that nose back. <laughs> so this right here is a Dungeness crab, and you're not allowed to keep these, but this is a really nice one here. You want to just chuck them over? Yeah, sure. Good. Okay. And this right here is a tanner crab. Now, are these the same thing as snow crab? Uh, yes. Snow crab are either tanners or uh, opelio crab. Okay, gotcha. So, most likely, if you get them in a store, they're opelio. Oh, gotcha. There's just more of those around. The, ta the tanners are also known as bear dye crab. Look at that. That is a beautiful crab. Nice male. Look at the size of that guy. Okay, another Dungeness. Three Dungeness I put over. Now he's undersized, so we'll end a female, so we'll let him go. Okay. My Dungeness? Oh, yep, yeah, sure enough. Here we go. Here you go, bud. Here, Becca. Is that a that's male? Yeah. 16. Here, just don't let him get your face. We're in the ocean. I'll throw it right overboard. No, throw it on top of <laughs> ah. <laughs> How about this one? I'm fine. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Yeah, yeah. One. Two. Daddy, I'm gonna name Eight. this one. Whoa. Can I yeah, about 30 keepers. We threw over about a 15 or so undersized ones, and then we had about 12 dungeness in there. So that was that was a nice one. <laughs> Very far. Look at that chum slick coming up. Oh yeah. Well, now that we have completely limited out on crab. Let's go get some salmon, huh? We're off to a great start here. Hey, Tommy, what did you call the crabs with one claw? One pinch man. Come at me, bro. A excellent anime reference there, Tom. Tanner crabs in Alaska require a harvest ticket, which requires you to fill out a survey about the fish you catch or the crabs you catch. So we just caught our crabs, so now we gotta fill out our paperwork. All right, guys, we're getting ready to start fishing and uh, we can catch a whole bunch of different things, but uh, this spot, we're kind of hoping for some rockfish, but we can pick up some salmon and, I mean, lots of things can happen. It's the ocean. Life vest. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just got another hit. 
Oh, there's a hit. There's a nice one. Can I? Yeah, sure. Here, oh, hold. Oh, he's taking some drag, Nate. You might have a, you have a serious fish. Oh, he got off. He got off. We can see the hook. But we'll get another one. And we've already had two on in like a few seconds. Oh, there, there we go. There he is. That's good. Oh, oh. oh. Look at that, a kelp greeling, right? Yep, yep. Oh. Oh, pretty fish. Yeah. I got, I got the first fish of the day. First fish, fish of the day. day. Now look, it's a kelp greeling. You can eat them, but they're not generally a popular fish to eat, so we're gonna put them back. Got a few hits, but we're not seeing the signals in action that we're hoping for. So we're gonna go ahead and troll for some salmon and keep an eye out on the fish finder for big schools of rockfish. If we see some, we can stop and switch back to jigging. So these are the jigs we're using for rockfish, but for the salmon, troll bait, these little trolling herring. Thread it on with a little treble hook. And they have a flasher with a literal flasher inside. Oh, Tommy, you doing this? All right, get in here. Real fast, real fast. I'm going, the other one's going. Tommy, you hold on to that. You got that? Get that one. There we go. What is it? It's a salmon. Salmon. It's a small one, but... You got that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, lift that rod up a little bit, buddy. There you go. There, I can see him. Oh. There, there he goes. There, we got him. Nice. Oh. Bigger salmon. That's a good one. Yeah. It's a king salmon. That's a high five, Dom. High I five, Nate. Knock that one out. Nice. Good hit. Look at all the sea lice on him. See these? It's a little bug that sucks their blood. Well, there we go. We're off to a roaring start. Trolled for about five minutes and boom, boom, got a double. This is about an average size king salmon. This one's a little small. I'm not sure what Jacob's up to, but he's under the table here. <laughs> oh, we got one, we got one. Real fast, real fast. Don't let, uh, yeah, keep a bend in that rod. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. You keep off, you keep off. You Sorry, buddy. How you feeling, babe? A little, a little off? Not great. <laughs> I, I love you, my brave, supportive wife. I love you. Well, we got a few rockfish signals here. We might try dropping down for some rockfish. I think I got one already. Yeah, look at that. Another beautiful kelp grilling. What a pretty fish. By the way, those make excellent bait for lingcod. Nice. Nice black bass. A delicious fish. I love eating these guys. We got quite the smorgasbord going on. Have to let it go off. Oh, it's on. Yeah, yeah like a little, little kelp grilling. Bring it over here. Pretty thing. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at this. Oh, flounder. Good flounder. Oh, look at that. Not a halibut, but a flounder. This is a rockfish. Felt like a good one. Oh, look how pretty that is. Yo, we got another one. Look at that. Well guys, we had some luck with the kings. We had some luck with some rockfish, but the waves are getting a little bit nasty and, and Becca's feeling a little seasick. So we're gonna go up into the bay into a more sheltered spot to see if we can do some fishing there and get back on some fish. Well, I got a bit of a cold wind kicking up, so. It's kind of nice to be trolling and just hanging out in the cabin a little bit, get out of that wind. I want to see if we can get Becca a king salmon here. The fish gets on, just shove your children out of the way. Don't, don't even hesitate. Yeah, throw Nathan to the yeah, side. Yeah, Nathan. Hey, All right, Bob, go I'm get her. Go get it. Which one is it? No, no, right, right, right one, right, 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 right,
Yes, fish. Becca, best fish of the day. Yeah. Good job, Becca. You did it. What do you think, babe? Was that fun? That was fun. That's great. <laughs> It's cold. All right, we got three kings in the boat. This is not bad at all. Well, we had a great trip and a good time, but the weather's getting crappy on us. So we're gonna take those salmon and crabs and rockfish back to the harbor. We're gonna clean them up. We're gonna take them home. We're gonna show you how to cook them. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, that is a pile of seafood right there. Look at that. And this is the, a big mama. That is a big mama. Hi. Hey, 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 no attacking Jacob with the crab. The salt with the deadly crustacean. <laughs> this crab head was a white king. It's got the white meat instead of pink meat. Yeah, look at that. That that is white meat. Yeah, is the comparison. That's that's what they're normally like. This one's got white meat on them. Sometimes you even get them when they're like kind of marbled and stuff. Probably one every ten fish or so. Oh, okay. well, there we go. That is a lot of seafood. We we are loaded. You just kind of break it over the side like this. Oh. Split right in half, and then you kind of got a little gunk in there, and then the lungs are on there. You just kind of get your fingers off and you're good to go. <laughs> daddy, da daddy, this one's me. He, he was pinching my boobs. All right, well, thank you very much. That was such a good time. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> if you want to come here to Homer and do this too, check out Big Butt Charters. I'll put a link down in the video description below. And uh, definitely check that out if you're in the area. Oh yeah, thank right. you. Hey, thank you. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh. Do you guys have a good time? Yeah. Yeah. Well, time to drive four hours back to Anchorage and uh, cook up some crabs and salmon. All right guys, we're back at the house and it's time to cook up some crabs and salmon. We got a whole bunch of family coming over. So uh, this is gonna be pretty awesome. All right? Like, you know, it, it, you can, they want the magic meat groups or when people, you know, they, they ask them. You know, at the same time, that, like you did that, you know, that's. But it, it was, like I said, it was, it was uh, you know, if you're trying to, to, to tell you about, I respond, I'm like, you know, I have different experiences from that. They're like, get a little nervous, like, okay, I guess this is gonna be you. I'm like, I can do that. I mean, like, see if they have any questions. And, uh, this is just taking the tag. I mean, stop this. Hey, speaking of creatures. Yeah. Well, there we go. That is a pile of crab legs. Let's get them in the hot water. All right, guys, here we go. Nothing fancy. When you got good ingredients, you don't need uh, complex recipes. We got fresh Alaskan salmon, because this is the white salmon. It's kind of a funky color, but they taste just as delicious. Big pile of snow crabs. That's only half of it. The other half are still boiling over there. And some fruit and salad and rice pilaf. Yes, I like skimmy, skimmy. Yeah, Can some crab? Oh, it's gonna give me a Ooh. Fork. And there's some garlic butter on the table. And there's more of the brown sugar sauce right there if you want. Okay. They, they're right there in your peel off. How do, I, how do we do this? Have you ever taken Aikido or any sort of jujitsu? Just kind of do an arm bar and then break the elbow. Yeah. Pull it backwards. Pull it out and see that's the 10. You want to try to get as much of that as you can. Your meat! Or you start. Yay! Ow! Stop! Ow! Ow! Stop! Ow! 
Nope, nope. No more crab bites. No more crab bites. Do you like the crab? Yeah. You guys like it? Was the crab good? Yeah. yeah. Was good? There you go, guys. A lovely, delicious mess. Hopefully, you enjoyed watching this as much as we enjoyed eating it. If you guys want to see more videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.